Hello everybody and welcome to today's video in which I discuss how the coronavirus pandemic is affecting the book industry. So a bit of a stressful video to make, but something I really, really wanted to do because there are steps that we can all take to help. So I'm going to kind of go over what is going on in the world of books right now. And then what are the things we can do to make a difference and help the authors, bookshops and publishers that are struggling right now. This video was in large part inspired by a video I saw on James Hoffman's channel. He's a coffee creator. So he makes <laughs> every video you can possibly imagine about coffee. What's crazy is that I don't even drink coffee. I just, I just love his channel. He made a video about how the coronavirus pandemic is affecting the coffee industry. And it made me think, gosh, I'd really love to make one about how this is affecting the book industry. I also do want to do a little disclaimer to just say, obviously this is affecting so many different industries in so many different ways. And I'm in no way saying that we should be taking care of this one more than we're taking care of other ones. It's just the industry that I know the most about, one that I care so much about and that if I can help, I want to be able to help. So right there, I kind of explained the three areas to look at. Um, I guess they're sort of a chain. They are authors, publishers, and then bookshops, the people who write the books, the people that market and sell the books, and then the people that give us the books. <laughs> you may have seen that some books are having their release dates changed. So already off the bat, that would make a really big difference to an author who has a new book coming out. They now no longer have that new book coming out maybe at the same time, and that can make a really big difference with their income. But another thing that you may have seen or may not have seen is a lot of people having events canceled. Now, this to me at first obviously is upsetting, but I didn't realize how big of a difference and a bad difference that this can make for authors and really like down the chain, which you'll see in a second. But this tweet from Shannon Hale, who is a very well-established children's author, I think sums it up really well. Children's book authors make less than any other um, because of the way that royalties works. Many writers survive by being paid to do keynotes and school visits and now they can't. So if you think of the fact that because we're all at home, schools have been canceled, work has has been canceled. Uh, we're all staying home as much as possible. Because of that, all of these author events that are a really big way that authors make their income are no longer happening. So that is a massive part of the reason why authors are being affected. So looking at the publisher side, this is a very fascinating time for this industry. And I got a message from one of my friends who's a publicist at an independent book uh, publisher here in Canada, Biblioasis. So uh, they wrote, at Biblioasis, we're all working from home. We've also pushed publications back. It's really hard to get any media attention for books right now. Also, indie presses like us rely a lot on indie bookstores to sell our books. Booksellers recommend them to customers, choose them as staff picks, or just display them in a way that they can be discovered. With bookstores closed to browsing, indie books don't stand very much of a chance. Right now, we're trying to figure out what book publicity looks like in the time of pandemic. Online events, live streams, book clubs, social media, and digital advertising. It's an uncertain time for us. So again, thinking about the fact that so much of book publicity and book marketing happens in ways that can no longer happen. How do we push the books that are coming out right now or books that have just come out? Um, we don't, we can't do author events to publicize the books. A lot of newspapers and other places that um, would normally publicize or market books are not putting as much space towards books right now. So it's again, a very challenging time. So say that you're an author and your events have been canceled and then your the bookshops have been closed. Your book is coming out anyway, let's just say, how are you gonna get any media attention right now? It's such a tricky time. So then we turn to that third sector, which is also having such a difficult time, bookshops. Now I'm gonna also put in here libraries because similarly, they are completely closed right now in most places. Um, you can't go and 
get a physical book in the same way that you normally could by either going to a bookshop or a library. So I got a great message and I thank everyone who gave me their experiences because I was asking on Instagram if you're a bookseller, a publisher, a librarian, an author, what are you currently going through? And so many people messaged me and told me what they were going through and it was really powerful and very interesting. So I got this really interesting message from someone who works at an independent bookshop in Texas. They are offering to have books shipped to people or to do curbside pickup. That's been really interesting and strange, this person wrote. Most people are super lovely about the whole thing, but we've had people honk at us to come out and give us their book or show up asking about their book after placing their order all only a few minutes before. The good news is that we're inundated with orders. People still want their books. But another huge strain is the um, cancellation of author events. In mid-March, we canceled all our author events for that month and most of our April events as well. Um, and they usually have about one event every night. So if you think about how many sales will happen on an author book event night, and if you have multiple happening in a month, if those suddenly all get canceled, that's going to be a really big impact to your shop let alone if the shop has to close completely and you're not even having any of those sales that happen from people walking in to buy books. The final element I want to mention that is hurting and affecting so many different aspects of the book industry is piracy right now. A lot of people want to read books, which is amazing, and maybe are going through financial difficulties because we're all having so much affected our in our own lives by coronavirus, or just, you know, it's not as easy to go to a bookshop, etc., and are turning to piracy and are finding ways to get around copyright laws and not actually purchasing a book. And I don't want to go too much into it because it's a whole bucket of <laughs> worms and destruction. But it is worth mentioning because it's really affecting um, the way that authors make money. If people are, instead of buying a book, they are getting it online for free, it's kind of a catastrophe. And I'll link to a really interesting article that I read about this down below. Um, and I'll, a couple other articles down below too, if you want to just see the repercussions of this all across the industry. So that is all of the bad news. Some anecdotes, some facts, but I want to turn to the good news. And the good news is that we can do a lot to help this situation out. So I'm gonna give you five things that you can do that you can either spend money on or do for free um, that can really help the entire book industry out at a time like this. The first and I would argue most important thing that you can do is support your local independent bookshops. So this is important because it really helps cascade down the entire chain. Independent bookshops um, do so much for independent publishing presses, do so much for authors. So it's a beautiful chain that if you're able to help indie bookshops, you're really helping the entire industry. What you should do is you should call your local bookshop and you should say, hello, I love books and I love what you do. What can I do to help you right now? Now, the most likely thing is that you can order books online through your local indie shop. Another option might be to buy a gift card from them now that you can use later. Um, it's a way to give them some money when they're not making any money right now and still you'll be able to use that later to get books. <laughs> Some bookshops are doing things like free local deliveries and you might be able to help with that, etc. Clearly stay home as much as you can, but definitely call them and see what is it that I can do to help you right now. Number two is to pre-order books. So if a book that you were really excited about was going to come out, but now it's been pushed back or there's just a book that you or that is coming out soon that you're excited about. Pre-ordering it can make a really, really, really big difference right now. It shows to the publishers that they should still market the book, that they should still push it, that they should still publish it, etc. Um, and it can make a really big difference to the author who is having so many other events canceled. It can help make up some of that income. Um, the third thing you can do is share books online. This one is for free and super easy and also fun. If you're reading something, 
something, share it online, post it on Instagram, post it on Twitter, and tag the author and the publisher. That way they are being helped with publicity that is so difficult to do right now. If you read a book or you're reading a book, especially if you love the book, post it and be like, hey, I just read this and I really, really loved it. You guys should pick it up too. It is even in times of like prosperity, word of mouth is massive for book publishing. So it is very effective, it definitely works, and it is something you can do to help. Especially if you have like a favorite author who you really want to support and you really want to shout out, go and post about their books. Number four is similar, but it is to post reviews of books that you love on Goodreads or Amazon or anywhere else that you might post reviews. Reviews do really like similar to posting about the book. They just help with publicity. They help with boosting a book. Um, when people are thinking, hmm, should I buy that book? And they see really positive reviews, they're more likely to get it. Um, so definitely do that if, especially like I said, if you just loved a book, why not spread that joy? And the final thing you can do is to support writers and creators on Patreon or Ko-fi or by buying their art. So a lot of authors will have kind of a second thing going on. Maybe they also post YouTube videos or maybe they also create um, stuff on Patreon or are selling things on Etsy. Right now would be a wonderful time to support creators who are making content that is awesome um, because it is a challenging time. And that is that. Those are some of the ways that the coronavirus is affecting the book industry. I hope you found this interesting and more than anything, I hope that you um, are able to implement some of those ideas and help out the book industry. We are so lucky. <laughs> we are so lucky to have books during these times. And Honestly, like I said, I'll link to some articles below, but honestly, it's very fascinating. A lot of the book trends that are happening right now, books about pandemics like Station Eleven or Severance, those books are doing really well right now. Um, and overall, people are buying a lot of books, even though bookshops are closing, because it's such a an escape, right? And that's one of the huge reasons why we love books. So, so whether you can spend money or not, there are loads of ways to help out the authors, the publishers and the bookshops that we love. Thank you so much to everyone who watched this video. Thank you to all of our essential workers out there, people in grocery stores, healthcare workers, every other one that I can't think of, but thank you. And thank you so much to everyone who is staying home to prevent spreading the, this nightmare. <laughs> I hope that you guys are doing okay. So much love and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.